Africa is the poorest continent in the world by a mile. Political instability, terrorism, corruption, and food and economic insecurity plague the continent, leaving millions of Africans languishing in abject poverty. Of the 27 countries worldwide currently ranked by the World Bank as low-income economies, indicating they are the poorest countries in the world, 23 are located in Africa. As if that wasn't enough, Africa also includes 21 of the world's 55 lower-middle-income countries. Two metrics are often used to determine the wealth of a country. They are gross domestic product per capita, or GDP per capita, and gross national income per capita, or GNI per capita. GDP per capita measures the total value of all the goods and services produced by a country and then divides it by the total population of that country. GNI per capita is quite similar to GDP, but also includes any income from international sources, such as foreign investments or business ventures. GDP and GNI are typically expressed in either US dollars or purchasing power parity or PPP in international dollars, a hypothetical currency that makes country-to-country -country comparisons easier. The struggle against the eradication of extreme poverty is a laudable task that has been championed by many international organizations and NGO. Whilst many parts of the world still suffer from the effects of COVID-19 and the climate change crisis, the fight against poverty has taken a whole new dimension. Nevertheless, one of the best ways to tackle poverty is by measuring it. Following the evolution of poverty indicators over time permits governments and organizations, like the World Bank, to set up more efficient strategies that could help improve the quality of life of the citizens in these countries. That is why we bring to you this classification of the poorest countries in Africa, an effort that could bring up perspectives that will alleviate poverty in these countries. Without much ado, here's a curated list of the top 25 poorest countries in Africa in 2022. 25. Zimbabwe. Gross national income per capita of $1,090. The economy of Zimbabwe mainly relies on its tertiary industry, which contributes up to 60% of the total GDP as of 2017. Zimbabwe has the second biggest informal economy as a share of its economy which has a score of 60.6%. Mining and agriculture largely contribute to exports. The economy grew about 12% from 2009 to 2013, rendering it one of the fastest growing economies in the world. It had recovered from its negative growth from 1998 to 2008 before it slowed to 0.7% growth in 2016. The country has reserves of metallurgical grade chromite. Other commercial mineral deposits include coal, asbestos, copper, nickel, gold, platinum, and iron ore. 24. South Sudan Gross national income per capita of $1,090 South Sudan became the world's youngest country and Africa's 55th nation on the 9th of July, 2011. The conflict which lasted between December 2013 and July 2016 dented the development achieved since independence. This has made the humanitarian work situation quite hard, with South Sudan facing economic stagnation and instability. The economy of South Sudan has a GDP of $3.7 billion as of 2019. It is one of the most oil-dependent economies in the world, despite being endowed with adequate natural resources. It has very fertile agricultural land and vast livestock. The livestock includes over 60 million cattle, sheep, and goats. Instability, unsatisfactory governance, and corruption continue to hinder development in South Sudan. South Sudan is mostly underdeveloped. Most cities in the country have no electricity or running water, and overall infrastructure is lacking, with only 10,000 kilometers of paved roads. 23. Tanzania. Gross national income per capita of $1,080. Tanzania's economy is overwhelmingly dependent on agriculture. It has been transitioning from a command economy to a market economy since 1985. Although total GDP has increased since these reforms began, GDP per capita dropped sharply at first and only exceeded the pre-transition figure in around 2007 as reported by the IMF. Nevertheless, in 2020, Tanzania's GDP grew by 4.8% reaching 
$0.4 billion versus $60.8 billion in 2019. This growth made it the second largest economy in East Africa after Kenya, and the seventh largest in Sub-Saharan Africa. The World Bank expected the economic growth of Tanzania to slow to 2.5% in 2020, mainly due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which has affected the labor market, production capacity, and productivity. Its tourism sector, which is one of the biggest in Africa, has been halted. Many tourists used to visit Zanzibar before the COVID-19 pandemic. Exports of manufacturing and agricultural goods have also slumped. Big tasks their able head of state Samia Salu Hassan will be prompt to work on adjusting. 22. Guinea. Gross national income per capita of $1,020. Agriculture is a key component of Guinea's economy. The nation is also incredibly mineral-rich, with approximately 1.8 billion tons of top-notch iron ore, an estimated quarter of the world's confirmed bauxite reserves, sizable diamond and gold deposits, and indeterminate amounts of uranium. The agricultural and fisheries industries in Guinea have significant growth potential as well. Large-scale irrigated farming and agroindustry are made possible by the availability of land, water, and favorable weather. The remainder of Guinea's foreign exchange business is made up of coffee exports and remittances from Guineans who live and work overseas. 21. Togo. Gross national income per capita of $920. Togo's economy has had severe difficulties. It was listed by the IMF as the 10th poorest nation in the world just a few years ago, with political unrest, declining commodity prices, and foreign debts impeding progress. Even while industry and services make a sizable contribution, the economy remains heavily dependent on subsistence farming, particularly after industrialization and local banks experienced considerable setbacks. Phosphates are Togo's most significant industrial resource, and the nation is thought to have 60 million metric tons of phosphate deposits. The IMF and the Togolese government agreed to an extended credit facility on January 2017, which included a three-year $238 million loan package and helped the country's economy develop to the place it now holds on our ranking. 20. Ethiopia Gross national income per capita of $890. Ethiopia's economy is diversified and in transition, with a sizable state sector. According to AFK Insider, the Ethiopian government is in the process of privatization of some state-owned enterprises and moving to a market economy. According to Reuters, state-owned enterprises dominate the banking, communications, and transportation industries, and will remain under state control for the foreseeable future. Despite this, Ethiopia is the second most populous nation in Africa and boasts one of the world's fastest expanding economies. The demographics of Ethiopia are also highly fascinating because about 50% of the population is made up of people under the age of 18. This offers excellent prospects for development in the future. Although elementary and higher education enrollment has grown dramatically, job growth has lagged behind the rise in production from educational institutions. In order to maintain up with population expansion and make steady progress up the rankings of middle-income countries, the nation aims to create a large number of jobs annually. 19. Mali. Gross national income per capita of $830. The majority of Mali's rural population engages in subsistence farming, which is the foundation of the country's economy. Mali, one of the 37 heavily indebted poor countries, receives a significant amount of foreign aid from a variety of institutions, including bilateral programs sponsored by the EU, the US, and Canada, as well as multilateral ones like the World Bank and the African Development Bank. Mining and the production of agricultural goods, livestock, and fish represent Mali's greatest potential sources of riches. The inner Niger Delta, the southern region near Sakaso, and the Niger River's banks are where agriculture is most prolific. 18. Uganda. Gross national income per capita of $800. Uganda's economy has a lot of potential and is set up for quick growth and development. Significant natural resources, such as an abundance of fertile land, consistent rainfall, and mineral deposits, are present in Uganda. 
Since the establishment of self-rule, Uganda's economy has consistently declined due to chronic political instability and inconsistent economic management, placing it among the world's poorest and least developed nations. A large part of the informal economy, which is dominated by women, is left on its own and does not have any protections concerning its employment. When striving to access Uganda's formal economy, women confront a variety of gender-specific obstacles, and studies found prejudice against financing women in the informal sector. Uganda has a lot of potential for energy production. 17. Burkina Faso Gross national income per capita of $790 Thomas Sankara's Burkina Faso is based primarily on subsistence farming and livestock raising. Burkina Faso has a nominal per capita income of $790 and a PPP per capita average of $1,900. More than 80% of the population relies on subsistence farming, while others are directly employed in industry and services. This landlocked nation has long-standing issues with very fluctuating rainfall, deficient soils, inadequate communications, and other infrastructure, a low literacy rate, and a stagnating economy. State-controlled, unprofitable enterprises continue to dominate the economy. The banking industry, which accounts for 90% of all financial system assets in Burkina Faso, dominates the financial system, which accounts for 30% of the nation's GDP. In the nation, there are five non-bank financial institutions and 11 banks. The three biggest banks hold over 60% of the total assets of the financial sector, reflecting the high degree of concentration in the banking industry. While banks often have sufficient capital, their vulnerability stems from their excessive exposure to the cotton industry, which has emerged as the most significant cash crop with considerable price fluctuations. 16. Rwanda Gross National Income Per Capita of $780 a successful government program has led to the quick industrialization of Rwanda's economy. An economic boom that began in Rwanda in the early 2000s raised many Rwandan standards of living. The rapidly changing economy has been sparked by the government's progressive ambitions. Paul Kagame, the president of Rwanda, has stated his desire for his country to become the Singapore of Africa. The nation saw rapid economic growth beginning in 2006 and the following year, it was able to set a record of 8% growth, a figure it has maintained ever since, making it one of Africa's fastest growing economies. Between 2006 and 2011, the percentage of the population living in poverty fell from 57% to 4-5% as a result of the country's continuous economic growth, which also helped to lower fertility rates. The infrastructure of the nation has also expanded quickly. The number of electricity connections increased from 91,000 in 2006 to 215,000 in 2011. The majority of current foreign investment goes into businesses, mining, tea, coffee, and tourism. Social security and minimum wage laws are now in effect. The fledgling tourist industry in Rwanda exhibits enormous potential to grow as a source of foreign exchange as security in the country increases. According to the Mara Foundation's Ashish J. Thacker Global Entrepreneurship Index report from 2016, Rwanda was placed 42nd overall and second best in Africa for doing business. 15. Guinea-Bissau Gross national income per capita of $760 The economy of Guinea-Bissau is made up of both state-owned and privately held businesses. Guinea-Bissau, one of the least developed countries in the world, is heavily dependent on agriculture and fishing. The country ranked 10th in the world for cashew output in 2019, thanks to the dramatic expansion in cashew plantations in previous years. Non-filet frozen fish and shellfish, peanuts, palm kernels, and wood are all exported by Guinea-Bissau to Asia. Fishing license payments in their sea zone, the Gulf of Guinea, give the government a minor amount of money. The main crop and principal meal is rice. Exports of fish, cashew nuts, and other agricultural items are all outlawed in Europe as a result of legislation there. 14. The Gambia Gross national income per capita of $750 The Gambia's economy is mostly dependent on agriculture. 
The Gambia has a small agriculture sector and few significant minerals or other natural resources. The livelihood of over 75% of the inhabitants is based on agriculture and animals. Peanuts, fish, and animal hides are among the products of small-scale industry. The IMF technical assistance and advice, as well as prudent government economic management, continue to be crucial for short-term economic success. 13. Chad. Gross national income per capita of $660. Chad's economy suffers as a result of the landlocked nation's isolation, drought, lack of infrastructure, and political unrest. A whopping 85% of the population is reliant on agriculture, especially cattle herding. Chad was the least fortunate among the Francophone nations of Africa when their currencies were devalued by 50% on January 1994. A major portion of financial assistance from the World Bank, the African Development Bank, and other sources is devoted to enhancing agriculture, particularly animal output. The development of oil fields in Doba, which was supposed to be finished in 2000, was postponed until 2003 due to a lack of funding. However, ExxonMobil finally created it and runs it today. With $11 billion in gross domestic output as of 2018, Chad is ranked 143rd in the world. 12. Sudan gross national income per capita of $650. Sudan's economy has flourished as a result of rising oil output, high oil prices, and significant inflows of foreign direct investment. Since 80% of the labor force works in agriculture and accounts for a third of GDP, agricultural output has always been paramount in Sudan, which just started exporting crude oil in the last quarter of 1999. However, a huge portion of the population will continue to live at or below the poverty level for years due to the numerous wars in the South, a lack of basic infrastructure in many areas, and a reliance on subsistence agriculture. Despite large increases in the average per capita income and the adoption of the Sudanese pound, the issue persists. 11. Malawi Gross national income per capita of $580 as of 2019, Malawi's economy, which is primarily agricultural and with an 80% rural population, had a gross domestic output of $7.5 billion. The landlocked nation in South Central Africa is one of the least developed on the planet. In 2017, the agricultural sector contributed nearly one-third of the GDP and about 80% of export earnings. The World Bank, the IMF, and individual donor nations all provide considerable amounts of economic support to Malawi's economy. The government must promote exports, upgrade educational and medical facilities, address environmental issues like erosion and deforestation, and combat the HIV and AIDS epidemic, among other difficult tasks. If you are loving our classification, please do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Sharing is caring, us sharing this video with your friends and family will help spread awareness of the state of African economies. Nine of the countries mentioned in our top 10 are in effect the poorest countries in the world. 10. The DRC or the Democratic Republic of Congo. Gross national income per capita of $550. Despite having a large potential for natural resources and mineral wealth, the Democratic Republic of the Congo's economy has severely deteriorated since the 1980s. As of 2019, its gross domestic product was $48.9 billion. The DRC was the second most industrialized nation in Africa when it gained independence in 1960, behind South Africa. It had a robust mining industry and a respectably prosperous agricultural industry. Since then, decades of violence, political instability, and corruption have severely hampered further development. As a result, the DRC now has a GDP per capita and HDI rating that are among the lowest in the world, earning it the 10th spot on our list. However, the DRC is rapidly modernizing. It shared first place with Malaysia for 2016's biggest improvement in HDI development. Government initiatives include programs for urban and social rehabilitation, as well as improvements to the water supply, electrical access, and programs for maternal and child health. 9. Niger. Gross national income per capita of $540.
According to official figures from the World Bank, Niger's GDP was valued at 13.68 billion US dollars in 2020. This figure was mostly driven by domestic markets, subsistence farming, and the export of raw materials, such as food to nearby countries and raw minerals to international markets. Despite having abundant raw materials, a relatively stable government, and a society free of civil war or terrorism at the moment, the landlocked West African nation of Niger, which spans the Sahel, has consistently been ranked at the bottom of the HDI, with a score of 0 0.39 as of 2019. It also has one of the lowest per capita incomes in the world. Agriculture for subsistence, animal husbandry, re-export trade, and uranium export are the main economic activities. The biggest non-mineral exports still include ground nuts, oil, and cattle to neighboring nations. For running costs and public investment, the government depends on bilateral and international aid. Future prospects depend on continuing debt reduction from the World Bank and IMF and further assistance. 8. Liberia Gross national income per capita of $530 The economy of Liberia is extremely underdeveloped, with only $3.2 billion in GDP as of 2019, largely due to the first Liberian civil war from 1989 to 1996. Liberia itself is one of the poorest and least developed countries in the world. Liberia is well endowed with water, minerals, forests, and a climate that is conducive to farming, but it lacks stability, infrastructure, and human capital. Liberia's economic profile is generally typical of sub-Saharan African economies. The majority of the population relies on subsistence farming, and raw materials like rubber and iron ore make up the majority of exports. When it comes to manufacturing, foreign companies dominate the market. The democratically elected administration, which was put in place on August 1997, inherited enormous foreign debts, and today the majority of its foreign exchange profits come from the proceeds of its maritime register. The new government must pursue strong macroeconomic and microeconomic policies if the infrastructure is to be rebuilt and incomes are to be increased in this devastating economy. 7. The Central African Republic, gross national income per capita of $510. According to Purchasing Power Parity in 2019, the Central African Republic's economy had a gross domestic product of $2.3 billion, with an estimated yearly per capita income of only $805. The Central African Republic is a landlocked country with a small population that is mostly agrarian, the great majority of the population farms for subsistence, and agriculture accounts for 55% of the nation's GDP. With more than 70% of the population living in rural areas, subsistence agriculture and forestry continue to be the Central African Republic's two main economic drivers. Cassava, peanuts, sorghum, millet, maize, sesame, and plantains are some of the main food crops. The main exportable revenue crops are cotton, coffee, and tobacco. 6. Eritrea Gross national income per capita of $510 as of 2010. Eritrea is a very closed nation. It does not send out a lot of information concerning its socioeconomic condition. With a total GDP of $8.1 billion by 2020, Eritrea's economy will have expanded significantly in recent years, as evidenced by a 7.5% increase from 2011 to 2012. However, it's believed that 32% of the country's GDP comes from remittances made by foreign workers. Resources including copper, gold, granite, marble, and potash are abundant in Eritrea. The War of Independence significantly altered the Eritrean economy. Eritrea had one of the fastest growing economies in the world in 2011, with a GDP increase of 8.7%. 5. Sierra Leone Gross national income per capita of $490 As of 2018, Sierra Leone's gross domestic product was $4.1 billion. The economy in Sierra Leone has been progressively rebuilding since the war's end in 2002. Excessive reliance on mineral exploitation has historically impeded Sierra Leone's economic growth. Throughout history, 
successive governments and the general populace have held the view that diamonds and gold are sufficient sources of foreign exchange revenues and a draw for investors. Governments have abandoned large-scale agriculture for commodity items, industrial development, and sustainable investments as a result. As a result, the economy might be characterized as exploitative or rentier and based on the extraction of non-renewable resources or non-reusable goods. Two-thirds of the population of Sierra Leone is directly involved in subsistence agriculture. Agriculture accounted for 66% of national GDP in 2020, making it the African country that relies the most on its agricultural sector for GDP contribution. 4. Madagascar Gross national income per capita of $480 Malagasy economy is $9.8 billion by GDP as of 2020, being a market economy and is supported by an agricultural industry and emerging industries like tourism, textile, and mining. The main crops grown include rice, cassava, vanilla, and coffee. Exports from Madagascar are exempt from customs regulations in several places, most notably the US and the EU. The expansion of the textile sector in Madagascar has been aided by these exemptions. Despite abundant natural resources and growing industries, Madagascar's economy shrank as a result of the 2009 political crisis, which the international community regarded as an illegitimate coup. 3. Mozambique – Gross National Income Per Capita of $460 the economy of Mozambique is $14.4 billion by gross domestic product as of 2018 and has developed since the end of the Mozambican Civil War from 1977 to 1992. Since 1987, the Mozambican government has embarked on a couple of macroeconomic reforms aimed at stabilizing the economy. These efforts have been marked with small levels of success. Despite these gains, Mozambique remains dependent upon external aid for a greater part of its annual budget. Subsistence agriculture continues to employ the majority of the country's workforce. Also, a substantial trade imbalance persists. Mozambique's largest foreign investment project to date is the Mosul Aluminium Smelter. This project, for the very least, has increased export earnings. Additional projects in the mining and textile sectors should further close the import-export gap. Mozambique's once substantial foreign debt has been reduced through forgiveness and rescheduling under the IMF's Heavily Indebted Poor Countries or HIPC and Enhanced HIC initiatives and is now a manageable level. 2. Somalia Gross national income per capita of $310 the majority of the Somali population is dependent on agriculture and livestock for their livelihood. The economy of Somalia is $4.9 billion by gross domestic product as of 2020. Unlike the pre-Civil War period, when most services and the industrial sector were government-run, there has been substantial, albeit unmeasured, private investment in commercial activities. The investment has been largely financed by the Somali diaspora and includes trade and marketing, money transfer services, transportation, communications, fishery equipment, airlines, telecommunications, education, health, construction, and hotels. According to the United Nations Development Program in Somalia, as of 2012, the country had some of the lowest development indicators in the world and a strikingly low Human Development Index or HDI value of 0.285. This would rank amongst the lowest in the world if comparable data were available, and when adjusted for the significant inequality that exists in Somalia, its HDI is even lower. The UNP notes that inequalities across different social groups, a major driver of conflict, have been widening. Somalia's economy consists of both traditional and modern production, with a gradual shift to more modern industrial techniques. According to the Central Bank of Somalia, about 80% of the population are nomadic or semi-nomadic pastoralists who keep goats, sheep, camels, and cattle. The nomads also gather resins and gums to supplement their income. According to the World Bank, Somalia's economy has suffered as a result of the state failure that accompanied the country's civil war. 1. Burundi Gross national income per capita of $270 The economy of Burundi is $3.4 billion by gross domestic product as of 2018. 
being heavily dependent on agriculture supports more than 70% of the labor force, the majority of whom are subsistence farmers. Burundi is a landlocked country lacking resources and with almost non-existent industrialization. Although Burundi is potentially sufficient in food production, civil unrest, overpopulation, and soil erosion have contributed to the contraction of the subsistence economy by 25% in recent years.